Hi guys, welcome to another range test video. This is a Mercedes EQA 250. In this video, I want to find out the range in real life driving conditions. I will test the range on the highway to find out the minimum range. Then I will also do a second range test in the city at lower average speeds to know the maximum range. I also wanted to know how long it takes to charge the battery at a public charger. The Mercedes EQA 250 is a full electric car with a WLTP range of 426 kilometers. It has a lithium battery with a net capacity of 66.5 kilowatt hours. It is front wheel drive and has a power of 190 horsepower. I will first test the range on the highway. There is also a little bit of sporty driving on country roads in this test. The goal of this part of the test is to find out the minimum range of this car by testing it at higher average speeds. At the beginning of the drive, the battery is fully charged to 100%. The range indicator is at 372 km. I did the test in August and it was between 15.5 and 23 degrees during this part of the test. The first part of the test is a drive of 113 km purely on the highway driving at 120 km per hour. The battery is down to 64% and average consumption is 20.7 kilowatt hours. I will base my range projections on the consumption and the net capacity of the battery. The total range based on this consumption is 321 kilometers. I will now leave the highway for some sporty driving on country roads. This part was 34 kilometers and average consumption is with 21.8 kilowatt hours higher than on the highway. After this part, the total average consumption is 21.1 kilowatt hours. The range dropped now to 315 kilometers. Now we will drive all the way back by using the highway. Let's have a look at the final result. The battery is down to 8% and the total length of the drive was 303 kilometers. Average consumption was 19.8 kilowatt hours. So the total range on the highway is 336 kilometers. Later in this video, I will test the range at lower average speeds, but let's first recharge the car. I will charge the car at a 22 kilowatt AC public charger. The onboard charger of the EQA250 has a power of 11 kilowatt, so this is what we will be getting. On the side of Mercedes, they talked about a charging time from 10 to 100% of 6 hours and 25 minutes at a wall box. I charged the car from 8% to 100%. The charging time was 5 hours and 50 minutes. To be complete, I want to mention that you can also use fast DC charging up to 100 kilowatt, but this I didn't test. You should be able to charge from 10% to 80% in 30 minutes. Let's now test the range at lower average speeds in the city. I want to find out what the maximum range of this car could be. Let's have a look at my results. I emptied the battery down to 65% to find out the average consumption so that I could make an estimate of the total range. I stopped at 65% because the average consumption at my measuring points didn't change that much over the last intervals. So the first part of 21 kilometers was purely city driving in Brussels, which is quite a big city. Consumption is 21 kilowatt hours, which is on the high side. This is mainly due to the many traffic lights and busier traffic, which results in a lot of stop and go driving. After that, I was still in an urban area, but with more opportunity for continuous driving. As you can see, consumption dropped a lot and over a drive of 133 kilometers, consumption was 17.4 kilowatt hours. This results in a range of 382 kilometers in the city. I would say that the consumption of 17.4 in the city is on the higher side compared to other cars that I tested in the same circumstances. In conclusion, I can say that the range of the Mercedes EQA 250 lies somewhere between 336 kilometers and 382 kilometers based on similar driving conditions. Even though I did the test in August, it was not super hot. I guess that when you get even hotter temperatures, then you will probably get a range number near the WLTP range of 427 kilometers. In the winter, you will probably get less range. I hope I was able to answer some questions you might have about this car. If you want to know more, I already published my daytime and nighttime point of view videos. Subscribe if you want to be notified about these future videos.